how and why it works later. This is how the SEG looks. We only use three plates. You can use four or five, but then you've got to consider if you're rich. If you're rich, of course, you can put more plates on. But this is a prime mover. It can be used as a home domestic power plant, which is, we are now developing. It can be used as a car engine. It can either be put straight in the wheels, or it can be put in where your engine is and four electric motors, one on each wheel. You've got the energy, you can run at mains, you can run higher if you wish. We can also use it for power and trains, we can use it for aircraft, and it is used on a very large scale, scale to power our Liberty Discs, as they were called. Here is basically what they look like. If you can consider for race, that's what we call them in England, that is exactly what you're looking at in the gener this generator, except you do not need any housing or cage to hold them. This is one ring and the rollers, to give some idea of what we're talking about. This is a completed one. These pictures are in book four. 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 So those who want to study the details in closer. This is, of course, one of the press photographs of the beginning of the team. When you do research work of a massive size, no man can do it on its own. There's too many things involved. You need a ded dedicated team. And this is why I say to all people that want to develop something, you do have to share what you want to do with other people to gain their expertise. By helping one another, we will come forward with products which will amaze the unbelievers. We are going ahead with a domestic power plant, and that is a fact. We are proceeding at this time, and I can guarantee that within six months, I'll be back up and running again. And if anyone doubt there, that, just put the money on the table. <laughs> I'm willing to accept it. <laughs> Here again are some photographs taken by individual members of the team. We had to clear site to build the Demo 1. We're giving you the idea as television first saw the site and they thought we were joking. Here we are with the disc. As you notice, the whole effort is towards the tip or the rim of the craft. Uh, can you point out the SEG? Here is the actual SEG on a very large scale. Again, we have the three plates. Again, we have three sets of runners. Down below, we show you how we actually create the function of angle. We are using gyro technology in the control of the angle. The SEG do more than just power the craft. It's the stabilizing effort. This is where the Americans have failed with their discs. They have used conventional aircraft thinking. That is what's ruined all their programs. I realized back in 1968 that the problem of the disc was to keep it stable. We had the SEG capable of powering it. The question was, could we use the SEG to also control the angle of the flight? We could. And how we did it, we had a plunger. This plunger did a number of things. When you signal a change of course, we have 64 of these around the vehicle. The main feed goes out through to the rim, then we have a switching action to the top plate and to the bottom. The power switch top or bottom define the speed at which you're going to uh, move up and down. When you operate any of these plunger, you immediately switch off the energy at the tip, you switch off the energy at the top or bottom, whichever side you are pumping, and then your plunger strikes and returns. 
immediately it drops at that point. If you don't return power immediately, you will then continue to make a very large circle. You will continue in a curved direction. If the power comes back immediately, then you maintain that level of flight. As I said last night, I have now given the CAA notice that when we start flying, probably next year, we want clearance of 2,000 feet between all other aircraft. They must not direct us on any aircraft flight path if the aircraft is 2,000 feet in front of us because it will knock out all their radio control, uh, communications and things of this nature. We, have, we are now waiting for their reply that they recognize and accept our request. Here is the demo one in construction. As you can see, it consists of 64 struts. And let me tell you something. Boy, there were some problems to solve. You may think it's a very simple thing to put together. But when you're trying to prove to 400 scientists who said that such a structure cannot be produced, it will not support itself, let alone fly. You open the door to all the media to watch you do it. And then you see you have to solve this problem because we are going to use the weakest material we can get. Because if the weakest material can do what you say, then the stuff you select to do the job is indestructible. The scientists watch and they laugh. The television kept coming and recording every step of the work. The media was at their heyday. But slowly the scientists disappeared. They realized they had made a terrible mistake. You see, they said that the structure is a split beam system and it's too weak for the job we want to do. They were wrong. And by the time the craft was built, there wasn't another scientist present. <laughs> and they never again wrote or said anything to me about what can't be done or can be done. Again, here's another view taken by the press of the Dhamma One, so you can see how it is constructed. Now if we can show towards the rim, down a little lower, now along, now look up to show where the generator sits. Yeah. As you see, the generator uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'll take the mic yeah. uh, Sorry I get carried away and I don't realise people are not seen uh, You can see all right? Yes. Right Now where the, we are pointing all round is the generator section and I can assure you it is a very complicated thing to put in until you come to do it you realize that this is something very typical it takes about eight people to pull each section in again another press photograph Here's another view. Oh, by the way, I'd like to say, one of the television crew said, we'll get up in a tree so we can film down. They got us so beautiful. He got up, and when he, he got so excited, he forgot he was up the tree and fell. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen lots of funny things. I, I could write a book about things that happened while we were doing this one model. <laughs> Again, we're hoping you could get the idea of the construction. Now the